Ebro in the morning on Hot 97. Did you guys see the most recent Cardi B uh, interview in, uh, what was that, W Magazine, I think? Uh, no, I didn't read it. Yeah. I didn't read the whole thing. I saw clips of it. They asked her about the throwing the shoe incident. Oh, Bacardi mm. Martinez. And uh, that's not her name. It's Belkalis. Belkalis. And um, I'm paraphrasing, but she went on to say, yeah, nah, I said what I said, and it's on site. And when I see her, it's on site. And they were like, well, everybody said that wasn't the appropriate time. She was like, so when is the appropriate time? Because I'm not going to see her. So when I see her and I said it was on site, she maintained her like, yo, kept the same I said what I said, I'm keeping the same energy. Wow. She said I was a bad mom. She liked the thing and said I was a bad mom. That's what it is. It's very Habib Nurmagomedov of her. <laughs> That's where you're going? <laughs> yeah. Where you're going? It's kind of the same thing. Actually, Habib just pulled a Cardi B. Yeah, maybe it's more Habib pulled a Cardi B. Yeah. Said, screw it. It's on site. Ooh, that's a good question. Well, you probably don't want to ask that. Why? When was it on site? Why don't I want to ask that? Because you don't want people to call up and be like, yo, it was on site. And when I saw him, I murked him. You don't want that. <laughs> no, you no, don't, don't want no. those calls. But you do want the call. There are people who are like, you had a situation that was so bad that even though it was at your job, you knew the next day when you saw them at work, it had to go down. 800-223-9797. That time it was on site. And it didn't have to be physical. It could just be a, a direct. Uh, I, you I, had to confront. A verbal confront. Yeah, but on site means on site I'm putting I his hands know, on. Guys. That's what we want. <laughs> Shawty's like, sure, <laughs> that's what you want to say. <laughs> other than that, there's no on site. Facts. I'm going to address you. <laughs> That's not what people mean when they mean when they say on site. No, on site. You mean like when Lana, what Lana Del Rey said? Lana Del Rey said, "I won't not f you to f up." Pull up, Azalea you know the Bank. address. Pull up, you know the address. That mean that's not a, an invitation for a dialogue. Right. Yeah. If someone says, "What's your location?" <laughs> that's not a chit chat. That's on site. Because we can talk on the phone. That's what I really like about about Habib and about Cardi. You may not agree with the antics, but with so much talk these days. No one actually Action. is just doing it. And not, not shooting anyone. I'm just going to punch you in the face. We're just going to Well, that's what 50 said to me, but he didn't say on site, so I might be able to talk my way out oh, of Oh, you could talk at it. Because on site is no dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I when see I you. When I see you. Yeah. Yo, do you think, do you realize? And by the way, you you got, I maintain that you got me in this problem. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who feel that way. There, there are people who There's feel that audio way. that clearly exonerates You're fake me. news. <laughs> <laughs> and Jim Jones is putting extra sauce Yo, on it. Jim, Yo, Jim, I didn't need that. I didn't need that. Yo, 800-223-9797. At time, it was on site. Angel, what happened that made things be on site when you saw somebody? So... My best friend sent into my girl's DM. Uh, on site. Oh, on site. Whoa, 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 whoa. What yeah. do you mean? Slid in, slid in like how? He slid in like, like disrespectful. Like, hey, what's up, ma? Like, coming mad different. Like, not knowing, like, he's my best friend, like, or something like that. So I was just like, what the hell? So I was like, all right, bet. So when I see you, it's on site. That's what it and is. And did it happen? And, did it go down? And so you saw him. Yeah, and I'm driving. A, a couple of days pass. I'm driving down the street and I see him walking. I was like, "Shit!" Nope. It's on site. So I pulled over on the side of the road, put my hazards on, and we squared up on the sidewalk. And then I had, I was holding up traffic and shit. And then I had to run out right, and, well, this, and drive away. Uh, well, this so is nothing actually story. happened. Up, terrible story. Womp womp womp. That was literally. We squared continue. up. I was blocking traffic. They were honking <laughs> a lot. Yo, so yo, I yo honestly, <laughs> terrible, terrible. I've been on this radio station. <laughs> For 11 years. That was the worst story I've ever heard. <laughs> Yo, we squared up, but I was blocking track. <laughs> you said, said it was on site. They could like, wait while you beat his ass. He said, I have my hazard lights. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't want to get a ticket. I, so. I safely pulled over and, and, and cautiously pressed my hazard lights. Yo, you know? That that story story didn't want to cause an accident. Baby doo doo song. Yo. <laughs> Anthony. Yeah, what's going on, man? Yo, at your job, it was on site. You was ready to risk your job. It was on site, man. This dude, uh, I was I was uh talking to my manager about my pay. My pay wasn't right, and this new guy felt the need to put in his two cents. And oh, I said, no. Yo, with respect, do me a favor, but mind your fucking business. Oh, and I guess he did like, bro, bro. bro. Wow, just like that. So you duffed just him like out. That. What happened? You put the paws on him. Yeah, hey, I told him I was, he didn't like what I said. He demanded an apology. I said, I'm a grown-ass man. I'm not apologizing. If you want, we could clock out. 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait. But weren't you in the process of trying to get more money? Yes, I was. I was. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Anthony, walk me through this. So you're asking for more money. A co-worker chimes in, as he shouldn't have. Exactly. You end up focusing on him. The real question, did you get more money? Yes, my oh, hours yes. were wrong. Oh, yes, here we go. All right, so at least there's You got more line. money. And, and did you put thing. hands on him and get the money? For sure. I clocked out. I walked outside. The dude was trying to block my way because I wanted to go off of work grounds and see him across the street. He tried to block my way. He tried to sneak a little jab on me when I walked around him. I dipped him. Called him two times and gave him the Kool-Aid smile. Ain't got a raise. Can I just wow. give it up? Give it up. I want to offer you Ain't one got my bit. Money. I just want to offer you one bit of future advice. The phrase that the phrase that you said, "I'm a grown ass man. I'm not apologizing," <laughs> is the dumbest phrase I've ever yeah, heard wow. in my life. Because if you're a grown ass well, man, you actually apologize. De-escalate. Yes, things. grown men de-escalate. And, and, and to be fair, to be fair, I was 23. I 23. Oh, and you weren't even a grown ass <laughs> man. So you were lying at the time. You weren't even a grown man. Ebro in the morning with Laura Styles and Rosenberg. Right here on Hot 97. People do confuse adult, like 18, and grown. Yo, it's so true. And people do. Usually, if you say grown ass man, usually it means you're not a grown ass man. Right. Like, if you're really a grown-up, you don't have to be like, I'm a grown-up! I normally right. announce that I'm a grown-ass <laughs> man before I act very immature. Exactly! <laughs> Yo, yeah. every time someone Yo, says I'm a grown-ass man, <laughs> and I'm spazzing. As your eyes are getting red, a tear's about to come out. <laughs> I'm a grown man! <laughs>